All right, so we're going to start uh, a program here. Um, it's kind of an evil little program. It's basically just going to get a, um, a word from the user, and then we're going to mess with it. So just like our other Python programs, um, this one's a little bit more complex, so it's probably best to create like a scaffolding. Um, that way, if you get stuck in a particular part, um, it's more useful than just saying, like, I don't know how to do this, if you know exactly where um, your, your program's kind of failing. Easier to troubleshoot that way. Um, and plus, if you have to work on it over multiple days, um, it's a good little reminder, uh, so you don't like show up, open up your code, and have no idea what you did um, the day before. Um, okay, so basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to get a word from the user. I'm going to run through this function uh, that's going to mess it up, and I'm going to print the result. So my main program is pretty straightforward. Um, before I do that, I want to run it. I need to create a function that's actually going to do the messing up. Um, and inside this, that's where we're going to learn the new things uh, in this video. So hopefully this is um, kind of our bread and butter now. Basically, I'm going to get a, a user word from the user, right? Um, this is an evil program. You guys have no way of knowing this, but my last video, I was like 10 seconds away from finishing, and it messed up, and I had to redo the entire thing. So this isn't. Okay, um, so I've got the, the input from the user. Now what I want to do is I want to run it through my function. And I'm going to have, so I need to create like what's the result of the function that's going to spit out. I'm just going to call it result. Um, and then I'm going to print that result. Okay. Um, so what's my result? Well, it's going to be the, I'm going to create a function called mess up and I'm going to feed it that user word. Okay? So they give me the user word. Here's my function. I'm going to plug user word into that function to get a result and then print that result out. Um, so the main program part is pretty straightforward. Now let's get into the, the function. Basically, I need to create a new word to be messed with. Um, before that, I need to, I guess, create a function. Okay? Um, so let's create the function, uh, and, and I'm going to do that by actually like, defining the function. Uh, I'm going to call it mess up. And what I'm going to feed it is a word, a sentence, whatever. Um, now you notice that this user word doesn't match this, and that's okay. Basically, mess up's going to know whatever is fed to it, it's just going to rename it. Um, for its purposes, it's just going to call itself um, whatever you feed it uh, word, right? Because the idea is we use these functions over and over again. Um, and maybe one time I feed it a user word. Next time I feed it um, a generated word. Next time I, uh, the user feeds it another word, right? So it's user word two. So I can feed it multiple things, and it'll just use word as its kind of default um, to whatever you give it. So it can do its job. So what I want to do is I want to, I need to create, um, uh, I need to create that new word um, that I'm going to return, right? So this is the the new mess up, and I'm going to create that as a blank, um, a blank list, right? I'm going to do it first as a list, um, and then I'm going to show you a different way to do it. So I'm going to return that new mess up um, back to the user. Okay. So now I've got this, uh, I've got this list, and I want to do some some work with it. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to find the length. Uh, of the thing that they just gave me. So the length, um, if I can count the numbers, hopefully as an integer, they're not using a fraction of a letter. I, mean, I guess a C is half an O, but we're not going to use that. Um, and that integer is going to be the length of the word. Okay, so let's review here. They gave me a word, said, okay, sweet, I've got a word. What's the length of that word? Seven, you know? Um, and then I'm going to make that an integer and set length to it. Um, so now what I need to do is actually get into the, the mess up part of it. I want to show you something about um, uh, modular arithmetic. So let's say I feed it the word Portland, right? What I'm going to do is this thing called modular arithmetic, which is um, it's how clocks work, right? So you have your clock here. It's like 12, 1, 2, blah, 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 11, right? Um, when it turns 11 to 12 o'clock, it doesn't go to 13 o'clock, 14 o'clock, 15 o'clock. 
basically, um, a clock says, we're just going to live in an environment where there's only a couple numbers, right? And if we hit here, then guess what? We're just going to restart, right? So we're going to take that idea and kind of um, use it to, to create our mess up program. So here's the word, here's the word Portland. Um, and we have a list, and so this is going to be, um, you know, like the zero letter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to live in a world where only, we're gonna, this is called mod two. So in mod two, only two numbers exist. Um, and your first inclination would be, well, one and two would be the obvious choice. But mod two, the only numbers that exist are zero and one. Right? Um, so what happens here, instead of going zero, one, two, no, 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 that's going to be a zero. Three, that's one, four, and so on and so forth. Um, so we just create like kind of this binary um, binariness uh, of the of the numbers, right? So watch watch how I can use that um, to my advantage. So I'm gonna say for every x in range. So this range idea is kind of a new one. So zero to the length of the word, um, which I just defined. So I'm gonna do this for loop. Um, I wish I knew how to spell. Uh, I'm going to do this for loop, right? And basically, I'm going to do this how many times? From zero until however long it, the word that they gave me is, right? So I needed to know how long it was uh, so I could begin. Um, and so x is going to be uh, a number, right? And I'm going to say if that x equals 1, and this is called, so now the x, what if it's, what if I do mod 2, right? What I want to do is I want to have something happen. I guess my other option is what if, um, what if it equals, I could do 0 here, or I could do what if it, how about this tricky number, doesn't equal 1 mod 2, okay? So now I've created a situation. If it, if it does equal 1, I'm going to do something to it. If it doesn't equal 1, I'm going to do something to it. Um, I have an empty list, right? So I want to fill that list. So the way I'm going to fill it is I'm going to say new mess up, that little list I had. What I'm going to do is I'm going to append it, right? And what am I going to put in there? I'm going to put in an exclamation point, right? Um, If it doesn't equal one, you know that new mess up list? Um, when I'm going to append it, I'm going to append it, hmm, let's see here. I'm going to append it the whatever the word is, so whatever they gave me, whatever was in that x position. So this is saying if it's the seventh letter, right, um, you know, uh, I would put whatever the seventh spot was. I would put that there. So it'll return it to exactly where it's supposed to be. So this will create every other letter will be an exclamation point. Most of the word, however, will, the other half will be what it should be originally. Um, okay, and then I return the new mess up. Save this. Um, I'm going to double check my code real quick, make sure there's no errors, and then let's run it and see how it works. Okay. So I didn't find any mistakes, so let's see if it, it works, right? So I'm going to run uh, in Python Interactive. Okay, sweet. I'm a very evil program. Save something to me. Um, let's say Portland is great. So now I create a list. P, exclamation point, R, exclamation point, L, every other, right? It even gave us that space. Cool. Okay, cool. You notice that in a split second, uh, a little bit of the code changed, right? Basically, all I did uh, made a couple, couple changes um, to say, what if you didn't want to do it um, as a list at all, right? Uh, broken up like that, it didn't look very, um, very swell. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a little space right here because it was kind of annoying me how it butted up, um, the question butted up against there. Um, and. What I'm going to do up here is I said instead of new mess up being a, a blank list, I'm going to create it as a blank kind of like word, like a string, right? Um, and what I said was um, I'm just going to take the word, so I made it blank. Um, if it's this, I'm going to have it be that blank or whatever I have in the word, right? 
plus an exclamation point. Um, if it's not like this, well, I'm just going to add what was supposed to be there, right? So you can almost imagine I just have like little blocks and I just say, okay, the next, th you know, like I have maybe three of the letters of the word and the fourth one that I add is if it's like equal or not equal to um, uh, mod one, right? So I add the fifth uh, according to the rule, the sixth according to the rule, and I just keep adding to the end. So this time, when I run it through Python, okay, I want to say like, see how I have that nice space there? That was kind of driving me nuts. Portland is really nice and has great food. So what it did here, now it says, oh, Portland is very nice. Um, has, yeah, you can't even see what it's saying. But it has a little bit uh, better display back um, to the user. 